हेलो रिवन लेट्स डिस्कस दिस केस ऑफ वेरी हाई ट्राइग्लिसाइड्स हाउ वी मैनेज दिस पेशेंट एंड ट्राइग्लिसाइड्स वर रिड्यूस्ड विद इन थ्री वीक्स टाइम इंटरवल थर्टी ईयर ओल्ड मेल प्रेजेंटेड टू द ओपीडी ही इज अ नोन केस ऑफ टाइप टू डायबिटीज बट इरेगुलर ऑन मेडिसिन एंड नॉट फॉलोइंग द डायटरी प्रिकॉशन एंड सीडेंट्री पेशेंट मेन कंप्लीट वॉज वीकनेस As such, no osmotic symptoms, no chest uh, heaviness, no breathlessness, no other symptoms. Blood pressure one twenty eighty and uh, body mass index twenty seven. So patient was uh, on a uh, uh, overweight and obesity side. So when we get the test done, so these were the results. Uh, glycosylated hemoglobin ten point two corresponding to the average blood glucose levels of two forty six here. Patient lipase was normal twenty uh, nine. Let's see why lipase was done. Though it was a routine health checkup, but there is an importance of lipase because in uh, patients with high triglycerides, there is a, a risk of acute pancreatitis, and in acute pancreatitis, uh, lipase levels can be elevated. But the important uh, parameter which was uh, uh, abnormal here was CRP level. So CRP was eighteen point nine three. So that is quite high. Uh, uh, HSCRP. HSCRP the crp is a marker of low grade inflammation so that was also very high as you can see the value here it was uh, more than 10 lipid profile extended lipid pro profile was done so the total uh, uh, cholesterol uh, in this uh, scenario so the total cholesterol was more than 300 378 and look at the triglyceride value triglyceride was more than 1000 so we thought of some sort of familial hypertriglyceridemia here uh, sdl level were low 36 uh, ldl cholesterol was 177 uh, very high uh, vldl is obviously high because vldl is uh, triglyceride divided by 5 it is dependent on the triglyceride so it is uh, high and all the ratios were disturbed and then when we check for the uh, extended lipid profile test lipoprotein a lipoprotein a is a a uh, genetic marker of uh, heart disease uh, this is to be done only one time so the level was normal uh, apo lipoprotein b levels so apo b levels were more than 200 apo b is a uh, lipoprotein which carry the ldl cholesterol or bad cholesterol so these levels are high so according to the values patient is at high risk of uh, heart disease hscrp very high cholesterol high apo b high uncontrolled diabetes uh when we did the liver function test so in the liver function test sgot is 211 and sgpt is 171 so when we take the ratio ratio is more than 1 now uh, remember this ratio d right is ratio when the uh, these parameters are high it is better to calculate the ratio though patient say that he is not taking alcohol so we assume that patient uh, is not having the uh, alcohol intake so in alcoholic liver disease this ratio is usually more than 2 but here the patient is having uh, non alcoholic fatty liver disease or masld so the ratio is more than 1 that signify Uh, there is a fibrosis which is going on in the liver yes uh, normally what happens as you ot there is a normal reuptake into the liver so uh, if there is a fibrosis in the liver the reuptake of as ot into the liver is less hence as ot will be more in the blood than sdpt so more than one uh, ratio always consider the patient is having uh, fibrosis uh, ggt is high any cause of the fatty liver will lead to the high ggt values because uh, fat in the uh, hepatocytes that squeeze the endoplasmic reticulum to release the gamma gt of endoplasmic uh, reticulum so this uh, proves that patient is having a masld now the iron study so as you can see the iron study serum ferritin is high so what is the reason for high serum ferritin the reason for the high serum ferritin could be two reasons here uh, first reason is it is a acute phase reactant so patient must be having some sort of inflammation chronic inflammation where the ferritin levels goes high second is any cause of fatty liver uh ferritin levels can increase ferritin levels can uh, increase so that could be the uh, reason of high ferritin though transferrin saturation is not increased so that uh, rule out hemochromatosis as the cause of uh, liver disease here
किडनी फंक्शन टेस्ट फेयरली नॉर्मल सीबीसी सो द सीबीसी प्रोफाइल वाज शोइंग हीमोग्लोबिन ऑफ 15.8 एंड स्लाइटली एलिवेटेड टीएलसी बट टीएलसी इज ऑन अ हायर साइड स्लाइटली हायर साइड दो 11000 वी टेक एज अ नॉर्मल वैल्यू होमोसिस्टीन लेवल्स वर ऑन अ हायर साइड सो होमोसिस्टीन अगेन इज अ रिस्क फॉर थ्रोमोसिस एंड द कॉज हियर इज बी ट्वेल्व डेफिशियंसी फॉर एलिवेटिंग द होमोसिस्टीन लेवल्स नाउ द थायरॉइड प्रोफाइल इज ओके सो वाई द थायरॉइड प्रोफाइल इज इंपॉर्टेंट हियर बिकॉज हाइपोथाइडिज्म और हाई टी एस एच कैन ऑल्सो लीड टू डिसलिपिडीमिया सो दैट इज रूल आउट सो थायरॉइड इज फाइन हियर नाउ वट वॉज द मैनेजमेंट मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द पेशेंट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मैनेजमेंट lifestyle changes we advised regular uh, physical activity uh, avoiding uh, simple carbohydrates in the diet increase fiber intake and uh, go for walk after each meal so that was a very effective uh, method in controlling the sugar levels uh, and we started with the uh, oral anti diabetes agent we started with sglt inhibitor and uh, metformin Though instead of phenofibrates, we started with statins. So we started with the uh, Rosuva statin, uh, 10 milligrams here, uh, because the LDL cholesterol was also high. Though when the triglyceride is more than 100, then there is an indication for adding the phenofibrate. But instead of phenofibrate, we started with uh, statins. So uh, patient was also concerned about the uh, uh, parameters, especially the heart disease risk uh, parameters. So patient was very compliant. Uh, patient did uh, 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 lots of of exercise did almost all the dietary precautions and took the medicines on time on a regular uh, basis then after 3 weeks so you can see the date after the 3 weeks uh, patient get the lipid profile done and uh, the lipid profile triglyceride from 1000 more than 1000 it has come to be 181 so that was uh, mainly because of the high diabetes that triglycerides were increased and maybe some effect of the statin was also there and uh, when we did the liver function test and uh, as you can see the liver function test also improved uh, as ut as gpt from the previous values so everything uh, responded well and the reason for adding uh, sglt2 inhibitor here is now sglt2 inhibitor now not officially uh, approved for fatty liver but in near future they can be the uh, treatment for fatty liver as well they have a positive impact on the uh, fatty liver and the fasting glucose uh, was also uh, below 100 so that means ki patient responded very well uh, to lifestyle modification and sglt inhibitor metformin along with the uh, statins now patient is under constant follow and patient parameters are well within the range so this was a case ki how we manage a triglyceride levels of more than 1000 with good discipline from the patient now if you have seen such type of the patient in your opd do share your experience and write it in the comment box thank you